was my best friend, so, you know, we did everything together. I miss him a lot, but life goes on. A North Little Rock family praying for answers and closures in their loved one's homicide case. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. 34-year-old Rodriquez Lipkins was fatally shot outside his relative's home in North Little Rock back in June of 2015. And tonight, Lipkins' son speaking exclusively to Fox 16's Rochelle Turner for the first time since this shooting happened. Rochelle. Well, Donna, Kevin, good evening to you. At just 11 years old, Rodriguez Lickens had to deal with the loss of his dad. He says the first two years were extremely hard and not a day went by where he didn't think about his father. And now he's remembering his best friend through pictures and a passion they both shared, music. 15-year-old Rodriguez Lipkins Jr. takes us back to this music video he made with his father. I don't play no games in the Hall of Fame. It's one of many memories Lipkins Jr. plays over and over. That was real fun right there because like, that was like my first time actually being a real music video. Fast forward four years later. This is a picture actually when he was in middle school. And then this is the picture after he passed, they had made this. The teen now remembering his dad through pictures. He was like my best friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did a lot of stuff together. Police say someone shot 34-year-old Rodriguez Lipkins and robbed him outside this house on Northeast Street in North Little Rock in 2015. I was hurt. I was, yeah, I was, I didn't know what to think. His father died at the hospital. Junior's grandmother, Maddie Askew, says another year has passed and police don't have a suspect. I'm tired of being disappointed with that word, still ain't nobody saying that this is somebody out there. This is my mom and my dad, and that's me in the stomach right there. Holding on to memories, the family just wants to know why someone would take their loved one. I miss him so much, I wish I was next to him. This is will be served. Oh, that is it. Now, Askew says it's tough on her, and she gets sick every time she has to visit her son's grave site. Since she, he passed away, she's been on dialysis three times a week. You feel for the family. Were you able to talk to police? Did they tell you anything? I did. I spoke to police this afternoon, and they told me this is still an uh, active investigation, and they really can't solve this case without help from the public. So if you know something, please give them a call. You can remain anonymous. anonymous. We have a, a number on our website. It's fox16.com. Okay. All right. Rochelle, thank you.